Sub shooters, my name is Logan, aka Spider Hands, and welcome to Spirit Reviews, where today we have ourselves a track from an act named Dead Set titled Turn It. And if we switch over to here, we have them on Spotify. We're going to be listening through uh, Turn It from start to finish, and we're going to hear what you think. Let's go. Really? Dude, there's just so much instantly with the. Um, Baby, the strings. Oh. Lit it like war now. Can't even slow down. Gonna be a shutdown. All right. If they tell us to turn it down, we turning it up. If they tell us to turn it down, we turning it up. I'm just finding a place to pause it. There's so much going on between these synthy and, and electric basses. You know, like you've you've got the that sub bass resonance as well. The strings, the vocals, and the side charts and everything like that. An additional sequencer on the sides, plus the modulated Transformers-esque movie vocals in the center. Okay, great build. And we're just continuing with it nice and smooth, but I like the repetition of the hook line as well. Or the up, up bit, you know, with the vocal, uh, but the pitch shifting, I suppose, if we go faster. I mean, it's nice and polished. The production's fantastic. It's um, I, I was almost expecting more bass resonance, but um, that's okay. It's just because of the polish and the EQing and post production, I suppose. Mixing and mastering the bass. Interesting sequences. More of them on the side. Lots of layers. Very busy sounding track, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's nice to have the energy levels go down a little bit in this section just for a nice change of pace, you know. Drops are great, but the drops only hit as hard as they do when you've got a little bit of brevity there. Chance to catch your breath. A little bit of variation in the second build, which is nice. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's all about, you know, if they tell us to turn it down, we're gonna turn it up. It's all about that kind of crunk, kind of like getting into it kind of thing, party vibe. You know, nightclubs and all that. <laughs> you thought we were done? Bring it back now. Again, I love the charisma and the energy and the vocal performance. It carries it. It really does. Again, I think the um those those synths going into the higher octave in this part helps to elevate it for the second half of the shift. Now after the fake out. Grey repeater at the end. Because this is the conclusion of my review of Turn It by Dead Set. I assume it's Dead Set. I know it says Dead 5 it, but I assume the, the 5 is an S. Grey track. I, I think it is legitimately about people at a club kind of getting into a vibing, bouncing around, having fun, you know, drinking and partying and all that kind of good stuff. And I think it has that kind of that vibe of no one's going to tell us to tune our music down. We're going to be doing that all night. I dig it. It's fun. Um, there's a place in the industry and within the genre is related to like trap, hip hop, and EDM and all that kind of stuff in the 2010s onwards that are. It, 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 there's a space for it. I'm sure lots of people will resonate and enjoy with the message there. As well as the vocals, again, there were more like sort of catchphrases that we had throughout it. You know, turn it up, turn it up. You know, like 
come on now and all that kind of stuff you know you thought we were done and etc and and i i like the little transformer kind of like you turn back you know you don't know where you're, you're getting yourself into kind of stuff you know hey and lots of character and charisma and um i enjoy the personality invoked by the vocals as i tell the story and kind of create an atmosphere from that um the structure of the track was you like it, it was unusual it was unpredictable like we had a that intro with this the build and then the drop and then we had a a little bit of a break point with that trend the transformers heavily modulated vocals coming in again and then you you know you had another kind of drop before a fake out and then another slightly heavier drop and that was basically the structure of it we had a similar kind of melodic sequence pathway throughout alongside the bass that came in now the drums were incredibly active you had some really interesting triplet fills coming there along with the traditional sort of hi-hat kick and um snare focus that a lot of the percussion and this type of music has and the serial bass along the cinematic slow and sort of sub frequency resonances there which were very welcome and then the vocals as well with the modulation that made it maybe a little bit more colorful with some auditory kind of stuff occasionally you also just had an airiness and the filtering and the vocals allowed for them to sit on top of the mix really cleanly i mean in regards to the production recording mix and mastering it was sensational it was um, really well put together. I've got no complaints about the EQing, you know, filtering of the different instruments, stereo panning, frequency, you know, all the instruments notched together and really well into the, the frequency spectrum, you know, like it was a really tight mix. Things sounded really well glued together. The side chaining of the kicks to the rest of the bassy elements of the mix was great and everything sounded like you could hear everything clearly, you know, and the limiting and mark compression was absolutely spectacular. Um, if, if I say something truly subjective, it's almost like the mix was almost too clean. It was almost too pristine. It's almost could have benefited from having a little bit of a grittier, rougher tone, maybe throw a little bit more sort of distortion or maybe a little bit more gain on some of the bass channels, maybe the kicks or something like that. Just to add a bit of spice to it. I just feel like that's the only thing missing because like, I just feel like if you're going for that sort of don't F with me vibe, we're going to turn it up kind of thing. You'd have a bit of, bit more sort of like oomph and a bit of raunchiness in there by adding a bit of distortion or, or, or drive on some other uh, heavier bassy tracks. But like, Keep the, the vocals the way they are. The vocal production was exquisite. And I love the range of different tones and approaches we had there. All in all, though, I think Turn Up by Dead Set's a great track. And I wish him the best of luck in future. And effectively, that is my review of Dead Set's Turn It. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show Dead Set some love via their various social medias and their Spotify page. Stay cool and stay safe. And please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As either hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out. <laughs>